Yo, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to another, not really, oh well, yeah, another video of Los Angeles. Not Los Angeles, but just Portland Snowhawks. We're doing Portland Snowhawks. So we do this last episode. I actually recorded the episode, but it wasn't recording. So we look at the top left. We did lose 70 fucking 3 to 13. I will go over those stats since I was going to see. Uh, we didn't record this series in a about four months, I want to say, or something like that. Yeah, it's been quite some time since we played this. Uh, but yeah, the team still sucks. Um, you can look at how we played. Gunner Mitchell was fucking flawless in this game. 340, 334 yards, four touchdowns, and we was out to 201 yards. Five interceptions. Just fucking horrible. It doesn't really matter also what happened. Just know Jared Goff threw a lot of interceptions and we could not stop him on defense. Oh yeah, a very important thing that happened in that game was What's his name? The running back, Nick Chubb. Had three hundred and twenty fucking one yards, three touchdowns. I honestly think he should have had like five hundred yards that game, if I'm just being completely honest. I think that should happen. This team is very, 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 very bad. So you know what we did? We kind of dismantled this team. We had Derrick Henry. We traded him. We actually could go to see what trades we made, I think. And transactions. Where am I going? We traded to trade away Derrick Henry, Klicho, Semi, and Brian Bulaga for a first round this year and a third round this year. And somehow we got a fifth round. Or we traded the fifth round in that too. I don't know where that fifth round came from. But anyways, yeah, we traded those things, those people. Because Derrick Henry, once again, a good, very good dominant running back. we go with him for the future. But we want to go younger in a different direction. I don't really want to use a power back in this franchise. I'm not really a power back type of guy. I like uh, elusive running backs. So, yeah, and these two offensive linemen, Okichi Osemele, and I said Okichi. Kalichi Osemele and Brian Bulaga. They're just old offensive linemen and... I would just not go with them. We could look at the team. It's not very good. So I'll I'll, I'll be fine with doing that. Um, we also got a rookie uh, running back in Trey Caldwell. He looks like he could be very good. I think he'll be really really good for us. He just needs development. That's all. Just just needs to like get there. We have some good running backs. Chris Godwin. C.D. Lamb, uh, Josh Gordon, Jalen Riga. I was thinking about trading Josh Gordon when we did it. Dallas Goddard is good. Our offensive line is very bad, and I'm willing to go through with that for this season. Just deal with a bad offensive line. Defense is supposed to be a strong suit, but we are missing some cornerbacks. I think that's what we're going to do right now is try to sign some cornerbacks in free agency. How much money do we have, actually? Can I actually check that? And I don't even know if we're going to resign any of these people. I have 123 mil, so we'll be able to sign some people. Well, I'll try to get at least two, three seasons out of this game. Bashan Breland, you're 29. I feel like we could sign you. And that's what it was like we're going to do. Signing Bashan Breland to a one year contract. Just not trying to sign no old people, bro. Eric Burry, you're like 30 something, aren't you? Yeah, you're 32. We cannot do that. Kenny for Carlos, like 30. I'll be, I'll be interested in do Kenny. Bro, you don't have the speed, bro. All right, you're kind of saying you guys kind of have speed. Dan Krushing. I'll be willing to sign you. You're like just because you guys are fast, I'll be really willing to do that with you. Because speed is a big thing in this game. Like, if you see, our corners will get burned if they're not fast. Um, so, we're going to convert these two um, safeties we just signed to cornerbacks. And we'll see what their overall is at cornerback. 70 still. Uh, nothing really changed. So, you know, that, that is that. Hopefully they start for us at cornerback. Not start, but they're placed at cornerback. Yeah, they are. All right, so that's good. Uh, we just got to change the, not the depth chart, the sub, like sub linebacker shifts a little bit. 
All right, going to sliders, and hopefully we get in this game. So, my line was a holding up, which is my line is not that good. So I don't think we need to change run block slides or pass block slides. I feel like we can up my QB accuracy to forty-seven. We'll go forty-four, because the way he was missing throws, like it was ridiculous. I know Jared Goff probably does have really. Probably does have accuracy issues in real life or whatever, maybe. Why was he were catching? I think that's the I think, I don't know. I really don't know. Our path defensive reaction time. I feel like it was all right. We just couldn't stop the run. That was a problem. I don't feel like our slides were that bad. I feel like their slides were bad. Down to catching a little bit. The run block is on 38. They're still getting through. I'm going to... I'm going to leave that uh, down there pass blocking a bit. Defensive reaction time. I feel like everything else was good, though. I'll up the defense reaction time. Lower fumbles. That's another thing we need to fuck them a lot. lot. But that's just like 20. On both sides of the ball. Because... Golly, fumbles were, they seem like they're going to be an issue. And, Patrick's go up. Whatever, um, everything else should be good. Alright, nobody that we really need to get into that's really important. Will Harris, go slot because you're going to be playing a slot a lot. We'll show up to 71 overall. You've seen what he got graded. You can be a good corner for us. Uh, we might have to look assign you in the future. You're 25. Kalei Hudson. I'm going to go run stopper. You're outside linebacker, so you're not going to be playing in coverage a whole lot. Even though it looks like you are kind of built for coverage a little bit. Uh, yeah, we might actually move you to middle linebacker at some point. Maybe. We'll see if we could do that. I just changed my playbook uh, to three base three four. Chose defensive um, Tennessee. I love Tennessee's playbook and offensive New York Giants. I heard Giants are a good playbook, so why not try it? Kind of already annoyed. I don't know why I'm annoyed, but I don't know. I'm, I'm a little annoyed. Raising the Buccaneers, they have a few key players on their team. Fred Werner, Derman James, and Zach Ertz are their significant superstar X factors and uh, superstars. There's never going to be much to get into in these intros, other like gameplay intros at least. Like always, I'm always going to have a lot to say in the video intro in terms of introducing team, what we got up for this week, blah, blah, blah. But in terms of gameplay intro, not much to get into. I wonder who their quarterback is. Who's going to kill us this week? Derek Carr. <laughs> he has no intros on the season. Can we actually change that? I was saying, is that Gronk? But I just remembered it was Zach Ertz. I actually got tackled for loss. I didn't realize. This is what I mean. Just nobody in coverage, man. Our coverage sucks. But I don't feel like our guys are that bad that where it should be sucking. Just nobody. Are you sick? There's no way. There's no way he just did that. I don't know what's wrong with this game, bro. We just probably suck. I just have to... You just have to face facts sometimes. You just probably suck. Yeah, we suck. There's... Bro. I don't get it. 
Like, usually, sometimes it makes... I don't want to see Jared Goff stats. Uh, usually, it makes sense why you suck. Like, okay, you just don't have good linebackers. You don't have good... Uh, but, uh, like, our, the, the guys we have aren't horrible. I know our offense line is bad, so... Offense is not going to be a better time. As you can see, gaining two yards on that play. This play always works. Some, for some reason, B always gets open. Let's see if B gets open. Not really, but good enough. CD Lamb, I almost called you Jeremy Lamb for a second. Alright. That was supposed to be a negative gainer, but we gained about two on that, I want to say. Or something like that. Why is that inaccurate? Can we just replay that? I just want to know why. Why is it inaccurate? Look, literally, literally no pressure. No, They're not counting that. They cannot count that as pressure. There's no pressure. There's nothing. I'm getting ready to throw right here, which means the ball should be like right. No, not right there. <laughs> like right here. And look where it is. Nowhere. And like kind of die for early, I guess. Just animations. Bro. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. It was an easy catch and just, just not. It's not. Now we're going to have to take a 53-yard field goal. I don't even know if we can hit this. The wind is pushing back on us. Kick is up. Kick is good. That's a really easy field goal. But, like, that should not be happening. I mean, we got to come back on defense where we fucking suck. Oh, my God. Why does nobody cover? I don't get it. What do y'all need? Like, I don't understand how he... Philip Lindsay is stiff-arming a 300-pound man. Bro, I have to cover two people, and I can't do that shit. There you go. Oh, my God. You actually look like you knew what y'all was doing for a second. We need pressure. We need pressure. Grady Jarrett. Now we look like we're playing. Alright, they're going to get a field goal though, so I'm not too mad at it. They're of course 9 for 10, 100 yards on the day already. Once again, I'm not too mad at we're holding ourselves to a field goal. This is the best thing we got yet since I came back playing this. I'm telling you last week was a disaster. As you see, they put up 71, yeah, it was about 73 points on us last week. They dropped it. I tried to go possession, it didn't let me. We're going to run a screen to this fucking left side of the field. Let's hope we could get some blocks. And we can. Just get out of bounds. Make it safe for your soldier. Golf is 4-6 for 46 yards. Um, I am going to pass this, but my offense line probably won't hold up. And even if it does, Jerigoff's not going to hit the throw. Oh my god, he actually caught that. The only reason I'm saying he actually caught that is because the way he... um, You've seen the passes we missed? Not missed, but really just didn't get it.
There we go, Chris. Touchdown. There we fucking go. I seen him one on one, and I'm like, I know he could beat somebody. And if he didn't, I was just gonna throw it to the outside, and hopefully he doesn't get it. We seen him get a step on him, throw it easy. Like I was gonna go lob, but lob is not the move all the time. And we finally tie the game up. What I think I need to do, I need to use it the like the worst linebacker, which is probably. Uh, Dwight Payne or whatever the fuck his name is. That's a good tag for loss, Dwight. No, it's not Dwight. It's Dwayne Payne. Oh my God. We could score off that. Let's go. Holy shit. Because they did not want to cover that flat, but, hey, kind of good thing they didn't. We hit him hard. Passes to the flat. Safety comes down. Our cornerback comes down. Hits him in his shit. And we're going the other way. We actually had the lead for the first time. 17 to 10. I hate this, bro. Why does... Why does 200-pound running backs able to muscle their way through 300-pound linemen? It's going to be that tight end route. You know the famous one. It's not. They go deep. They're not. Oh, I need help on that tackle, bro. I really need help on that tackle. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Let's go. I switched to man coverage at the last second. I thought it was going to be a run. That's why. There we go. Good tackle. All right. We're going to force him to punt. Derek Carr is still having a good game. 13 to 15. Almost 150 yards. He's like, yeah, 135. Something like that. But we're playing better defense now, which I do like. And all right, offense. I think it's just a difficult. I said this last week. It's a difficult time, and this is why I didn't really like um, playing that series. Lat the series, not last year, but when we was playing it, because it was just difficult switching from uh, Jared Goff to Justin Herbert. Justin Herbert was a really good quarterback, a really accurate, and Justin Herbert, not Justin Herbert. Jared Goff was just not. He's not that guy. And even with the teams, and somehow CeeDee Lamb is hurt. Even with the teams, um, just totally different teams. Can we get this? This is literally inches, bro. Please, please. This is where you miss Derrick Henry. These one-yard runs. That she got it. CeeDee Lamb is going to be out for a long time. I'm going to have to call timeout right here. Wait, why did we lose it? Oh, yeah, because of the injury. I was like, why did we lose a timeout last time? Trying to get out of bounds. Did not work out. That was fourth and one, I think. Well, we're punting now, so it doesn't matter what the fuck we're doing. Like, it doesn't even matter anymore, does it? Because it just, it made me... Choose that so quickly. Too much power? Nope, just right, just right. On the seven. I think we get ball? Yeah, we actually do get ball. And we also get ball, so our chances of winning this game are looking good. I think we're two and four right now. It's going to boost up to three and four. I'm, once again, I'm not trying to have a good record. I want to draft high next year. And if we do finish with a good record, I just, like I said, this, depending how Jared Goff performs this year, this will be one of his last years. 
depending. He already has 70 interceptions in a year. Um, yeah. So, he could still finish all right, but 70 interceptions is tough, man. Overthrown. Oh, man. That's annoying. Here you go. That is a good pass. Get out of bounds. Don't let them boys touch you. Oh, what a fucking catch. Jerry Goff is playing all right. He's, he's like... He's thrown in the right places ish, but you know. There we go. Almost getting the first. Probably inches. Yup, inches. Well, I'm just gonna try to punch this in right here. Walking in, almost untouched. Was that Trey? It doesn't look like Trey. Nope. It was our third down running back. Um, something Snell. Can't really remember his name right now. But we are up 23-10. Well, 24-10 now. 24-10, so drive is going well. We're uh, being patient with it. Not really taking as many shots. We're taking a few shots, though. We're not taking as many shots. Going deep. Look like he beat him. Yeah. I feel like there was no way, even if I was to try to do anything about that, I could have done anything about that. Good tackle. Very good tackle. Ah, they just another outside run. I didn't think they would take that outside. Alright, they're definitely not running right here. Where is Rashawn Gary going? I don't think that's Rashawn Gary. Like, where is he going? I get he's not really great in coverage, but I had to flip the pl not sw flip it. I had to switch my play. Oh man, it was just like there was so much over the middle he could have went to, and then as soon as he throws it there, Rashawn Gary moves up. Just didn't really, whatever. Uh, seventeen twenty-four. What a throw, what a catch. Yeah, they sent a middle linebacker blitz. And, oh, well, not really. It was more of like the outside linebackers blitzing. But regardless, that leaves uh, most of the field open, especially that right side. Right, the throws are so underthrown, man. I didn't feel like Trey Caldwell that time. It was Clay, uh, Kalen Balaj. I almost said Kaleli. Balaj, like who the fuck is Kaleli? All right, fourth quarter time. Fourth quarter time. We are up by a touchdown. We are in field goal range. We could score right here. Not right here, but on this drive. Let's we'll see. And we get hit very, very hard. 
That was legit fumble. Fumble recovery by Bud Dupree. And that is not what you want on that play. I could tell you that. And there we go. Pressure gets in. Everything is covered. Everything is. That's how I hit him. Everything is covered. And there we go. Fourth and 32. They're going to be forced to punt. Still a lot of time in this game. So, you know, we just have to see what goes on. See if we can get something. Good run. Good stuff by Trey. 16 rush, 69 yards. Nice. Had to throw it away. Just nowhere to go with the ball. Pressure gets in. And we're going to be forced to take a field goal. Which makes it a two-score game now. So it's good on us. Putting it 27 to 17. Big hit, no fumble. Oh, you got... I'm really in there, but I can't engage in a block. Not block, a tackle. I'm not too mad at anything we're giving up right here. Because if they want to get uh, anything... Husky! Big hit! He's running down the sideline. Oh my God. Big, big hit. Dan Krushank coming in on the uh, big fucking hit. And he's trying, almost getting in there. Gonna be on the one. Might go to two minute one before we get in. Now we're actually gonna have to get another playoff right here. And getting in untouched. Let's go. Trey Caldwell. Getting his second. No, nah, it's his first touchdown of the day. Because what's his name got the touchdown earlier? Something Snow. Can't remember his actual name, but. Yo. Like, go down. Oh, my God. Yo, like, is Philip Lindsay a fucking tank? Make a play. Let's go. I did not see that guy right there. Is it going to tell us who got that intel, though? Of course it's not. Doesn't even matter. Game is over. That is going to be the game for today. Actually, a very entertaining game. Sliders played decent enough. Um, nothing, like, early on, I thought it was going to get out of hand. I'm like, ah, here we go. It's going to be another repeat of last week where they put up 73 points. The team's going to put up, like, 100. But um, I guess we adjusted. Made some, uh, not subs, but uh, coach adjustments. Told us he was to play ball, uh, switch matchups a little bit, and we played better. Dragoff played better. He, didn't, he only threw one touchdown, but he did play better. Derek Carr, Derek Carr, Derek Carr. Uh, the opposing quarterback's always going to play better because they just, I mean, had every throw, he didn't miss what, three throws. 263 yards, one touchdown, one interception. Jared Goff, 193 yards, one interception. Nope, one touchdown, one interception. I might have just said Derek Carr had one pick and one interception. I always say that, whatever. Uh, Trey Carr, 198 yards, 4.2 on the ground, one touchdown. Phil Lindsay, 
61 yards, 4.3 on the ground, one touchdown. And receiving a big day for Chris Godwin, which I didn't think it would be. He had five catches, 113 yards, one touchdown. Calvin Ridley had 89 yards, no touchdown. Phil Lindsay, 60 yards, no touchdown. Will Fuller had 52 yards, one touchdown. Josh Gordon had 38 yards, no touchdowns. And C. Lamb had two catches for 25 yards. But defensively, tackles for loss. Shaquille Griffin had two. Brian Poole had one, almost three, one. Rashawn Gary, Bud Dupree, uh, Darius Williams, Darnell Savage, Grady Jarrett, Malik Jackson, and Donald Payne. Donald Payne. I thought it was, first I thought it was Dwight, and then I thought it was uh, Dwayne. Anyways, Janard Avery had a sack, Terry Jurgen had a sack, and Grady Jarrett had a sack. We didn't give no sacks today, so that's very good. Intel's very no, the only two, one intel in the game was Darnell Savage. And the person that's probably going to be thumbnail is Jared Golf. I think it's going to be Jared Golf. Okay, getting an outro. Next week, who the fuck are we facing? That's an important question. Who the fuck? We actually won a weekly award. Who was it? Darno Savage. Wow, he had a actually a really good week. That's crazy. I didn't think he had to have that good of a week. Six tackles, an intel, forced fumble, fumble recovery, a touchdown. Good shit. Really had a good week. I was going to say something about fun. Oh, yeah, there's a final way to make a trade. I don't think we need to make a trade. We could see where our draft picks is at. That's what's important. I think we have two first rounders. Yeah, we do have two first round. We have the fifth pick and the ninth pick as of right now. So, looking good. And we have three second rounds. And we have two third rounds. Two fourth rounds and two fifth rounds. <laughs> so, our picks are looking pretty decent. Right, we're going to move on to week nine. It looks like we don't really make no trades. And for week nine, no breakout player, no nothing. We are three and four. We're seeing the two and six Jags. We'll see what they have next week. Uh, looking at the standings, we are at the bottom. Yes, let's stay at the bottom. But there's there are three, three and four teams, and obviously the Jets at the top is six and one. And yeah, that's gonna do it for us. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. But to next video. Peace. So they did they go me the same. Why they just lanes? I wonder who taught them this. Hey, got fam in my brain, but I bought some jeans. That damn near cost us up. Hey, just got a new strain. I roll in the woods. Excuse if I cough a bit. Hey, they hate on my name. They hate on my game. But what is the cause of it? Okay, cause